I suffered for this. Come on in, everyone. I am excited about what God has been doing these last 12 nights. We are on night 12 of our social media revival. I suffered for this. <clears throat> Come on in. I'm going to wait for Facebook to build me a audience. Hello, hello, hello. I love you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight, I need you to do me a favor and begin to tag and share the prophet of God that is coming on my page on tonight. It's his first night on, so I'm excited about it. We done made it through 12 nights of our 25 night social media revival. When I tell you every night, People of God, we've been going higher and higher every night. People of God, come on, people have been getting clarity. They've been getting wisdom. I've been getting inboxes of people who have been deciding to fast and pray while on this 25 night social media revival. So I am excited. Come on in and begin to tag and share. I am also going to start, people of God, inviting some people to this live that I know will come in tagging and sharing. Come on, I need you to begin to tag and share. Come on, I don't know who needs to hear this, but the Lord says he still has time to do it. Come on, that has nothing to do with the message on tonight. But just then, God told me to tell somebody, he still has time to do it. Come on, people of God, I need y'all to tap in. When I move, you move just like that. Prophetess Ashmere, how you been? I love you, sis. Tell Apostle Angela, that I love her so much. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Come on in, people of God. Begin to tag and share. When I tell you Prophet Tate took us in last night, baby, we got off a little late because the, oh Jesus, the word was everything. I'm telling you, night after night after night after night, I'm, it be so powerful to where, Believe it or not, people of God, when I jump off live off the, after some of the lives, I can't even sleep. So come on in, people of God. I need you to begin to tag and share. Come on. I see. I, oh, Jesus. I see my bank Katrina Hinch's on. Come on. I see one of my snipers coming in. Takia Jarna. I love you, sis. Tika Jarna. Come on. Thank you for coming in. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need y'all to push and pray. Pray and push on tonight because we have to set the atmosphere before for the prophet is being released with this 25 night social media revival. I grabbed so many new people because I, oh Jesus, I wanted God to step in to move. Come on, give you something different to look, look at. Do you know we can be told the same message? Come on, by people who are in our lives every day. But the minute God delivers it, come on, to somebody we don't know. What are you saying, Evangelist Shakira? Come on, we jump on and take it immediately. I see that the prophet is on. But for another three minutes, I need to build. Come on, I need y'all to push. Let me go ahead. Come on. Let me do the same thing I'm telling you guys to do. And let's begin to invite some people to this live. Come on, very quickly. I need you guys to push. On tonight, come on, there's going to be a pressing as shaking and a beating. Come on, I see Taylor P is on. Let me invite a few more people um, that I know will come in tagging and sharing. So you guys forgive me if I'm looking down at the phone for a minute. But I got to tag these people in. Come on, Shay Redding, I see you just joined. That's another one of my snipers in the spirit. Come on, people of God, I need you to push. Just hold on. Because once these people come on, watch, oh, Jesus, the numbers shoot up automatically because they already know what to come in and do. Do you know that the quickest seed people of God to put in the ground is by simply tagging and sharing? Prophet is Tiffany, I love you. Cannot wait, woman of God, to your night to come on. Come on, I see Deanne is on. I love you, sis. Come on. I missed you over uh, at the women's event for Kathy. Sis, if you can come in tagging and sharing. Come on, there's a push that's taking place. I see everybody jumping on who I need to jump on. Come on, just keep on pushing. Keep on tagging. Come on, just another two minutes. And I'm going to release the prophet um, of tonight, people of God. 
but I got to get my snipers on in the spirit. Y'all come on in and begin to tag and share. Come on, keep pushing. Come on, just another 60 more seconds. And I will be bringing on the prophet of God on tonight. Um, If you see me holding up my phone, um, it's because I have TikTok going on the other uh, uh, phone um, also. Come on, just 60 more seconds. And I'm going to start inviting. Come on, I see Tanisha Robinson is on. That's another one of my snipers. Come on, y'all. I need y'all to push for me. Come on, I see Shanita Bryan just jumped on. Come on, that's another one of my snipers. Come on, I see I finally got Trinette on. Sis, share this in the group for me. And then I need you to tag and share. Come on, I see my sis Natasha is on. Sis, I love you. Come on, tag everybody to this because the prophet that is coming on, on tonight is anointed by God to really least he didn't even want to take an offering from me I, every speaker that comes on I give an offering myself at the end and he didn't he did not he said I just want to do God's business I'm excited about what God is doing people of God let me introduce to you guys the prophet of tonight prophet Ronnie as you begin to come on I need you to prepare your heart Arts, come on, continue to tag and share Terrell. Come on, I'm glad you are on. Thank you for tagging and sharing. As I introduce Prophet Ronnie on tonight, prepare your hearts, people of God, for what he is about to release. We are on night 12 of our 25 night social media revival. I suffered for this. Man of God, I'm going to release the platform to you so I can begin to tag and share also. Amen. Grace and peace. I'm honored to be uh, a part of this just to share uh, the word of the Lord and to encourage God's people. Yes. Um, as her subject uh, is, I suffered for this. Um, I, I may take a twist or spin with this uh, because one of my objectives uh, or one of my assignments is to really understand the mind of God mm. behind the madness. Mm. And so um, if we never get the revelation of your situation, you will believe that is devastation. Jesus. But if you get the revelation of your situation, it can catapult you to your elevation. There are many people that have missed their moment because they did not master their suffering. And so you have to get the revelation of why certain things are happening, why certain things are taking place so that you can be prepared to receive the reward for your suffering. Jesus. And so, um, as the woman of God said today, I suffered for this. And I promise you that when we finish tonight, that your eyes are going to be open, your heart you, are Lord. going to be burning, and there's going to be a release that God is about to birth in your spirit. Uh, and so, uh, tonight, I'm excited uh, just okay. to share what God is about to release tonight. Father, I thank you. Now, Father, I decrease that you may increase. Now, Father, you take over. If I speak, I'll mess up. But Holy Spirit, you speak through me tonight. There's one person that need one word from the Lord that will yes. shift everything in their life. Thank Father, you. we thank you and we give you the glory in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to talk tonight from 1 Samuel chapter 1, and we're going to deal with a familiar uh, passage of scripture uh, uh, concerning Hannah and Paniah, uh, because believe it or not, both of them suffered for this. Yes, God. And so we're going to talk about the plan and the purpose of God concerning certain seasons of our life. Number one, I want you to understand that God knows how to create a mere situation yes. that can push us, that can shift us, and that can catapult us to the place of our purpose and our promise. Uh, you must understand that in this hour, where we are is that we are in a divine shift. Yes. Uh, I say this, that as the world shakes, the church will shift. Mm. This is an hour now that you're going to have 
have to really make your decision whose side are you on? Yes, because God. what God is doing now is he is weeding out through the power of suffering. <laughs> and so you're going to have to be able to navigate your life through the power yes. of suffering. Now, I want you to hear me tonight because it's imperative that many of you don't understand uh, that you've been thrust into suffering, but it is the trajectory of your suffering that God has used to push you into the matrix or the womb of prayer. Many people right now are looking for answers. Hmm. And uh, uh, if we are not careful, we will adhere to the wrong voice hmm come on, that would lead you to the wrong instructions that will have you in the wrong place in the right season. So it is imperative that God will use suffering as a trajectory to push you into the perpetuality of prayer, hallelujah, and seeking the face of God because God is concerned about results. My Jesus. God today. Let me say that again. God is concerned about results. He doesn't put you into something if he does not expect he can get results out of it. Yes. God doesn't waste evil. He doesn't even waste the devil. He will not allow the devil to come to your house if he does not expect results. Jesus. My Please God, God today. Oh. And so what many of you, if you don't have the revelation of your suffering, you would believe that there's somebody out to get you. But they ain't out to get you. God knows the right ingredients to produce the right results. And yes. for many of you, you have been stagnated. And what God is doing is he's intensifying the suffering because he needs results. He needs results for your family. He needs results for your ministry. Yes, he needs results for your walk in God. He needs results for your business. He needs results because you are the key that's getting ready to unlock your region. You are the key that's getting ready to unlock your family. You are the key that's getting ready to unlock generational blessings. You are the key that's getting ready to break the generational poverty. So many of the things that you are under is God producing the right yes. results in your life. Let me go a, a little further on. What is God producing? See, what God is after for you and I is not popularity. He's after prosperity. Let me say it again. What God is after in our life is not popularity, but he's after prosperity. Now, do not have a small mind when I mention prosperity, because prosperity, which means one who has walked in an overflow, one who has walked in increase. Prosperity means one who is walking in abundance. And the minute when we hear prosperity, our mind automatically goes to money. God True. is more concerned True. than True. your money. Can I tell you, God can give you favor that money cannot buy. Yes. God, God. Can give, God can give you a house that your pocket can't support. God can give you something that Jesus. your money cannot match because God is not the God that will match you. God is the God that will exceed you. So Jesus. when I mention prosperity, he's not interested in popularity. He's more interested in prosperity. And so the Lord said to me, tell them he's not interested in your reaching platforms. He's interested in you walking in the power. And so yes. because of that, it is imperative that I want to talk to those right now who is under the sound of my voice. Many of you have been in the posture of pursuit. Let me say it again. For many of you, you have been in the posture 
of pursuit. You've been pursuing God. You've been pursuing your dreams. You've been mm. pursuing visions. Okay. You've been pursuing business. You've been pursuing marriage. You've been pursuing family. Mm. I don't know what your pursuit is. Maybe going back to school. I don't know what your pursuit is is or what you're pursuing right now but there are some things ahead of you and let's be honest right now you are flustered and you are frustrated because in your pursuit you have not reached the results you are looking for Mm. god told me to tell you for many of you you have prayed you have fasted you have connected to the right people you have walked through the right doors you have sat at the right tables but the truth is uh, you still have not reach the results. Someone asks me why, because God is saying, I'm not going to let you get the credit for you. Ah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He says, I'm not going to allow you to get the full credit for you. There are some things that God will frustrate the plan so that you have to wait on his hand. Uh, Let me say it again. There are times that God will frustrate your plan so that you will have to wait on his hand. And so for many of you, many of you have been in a waiting season because while he is frustrating you, he's developing your patience. Oh my God. We are in a season. We are in a dispensation. We are in a generation that everything must happen now. Instant, right now. I got to get it. But see, God does not control what he does based upon the culture. God moves outside of culture because he's not subject to time because he's eternal. God has the power to step outside of time, look at time, and wait till you're 100 years old and go beyond the culture. Come here, Sarah, and then let you give birth when you beyond the time of expectation when you thought you should walk in the greatest season of your life. And so for Mm. many of you, beloved, what God is doing now, he's teaching you how to properly assess the seasons of suffering. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because you can't tell God when you have had enough. Oh, I'm about to get in trouble here tonight. You cannot tell God when you have had enough. Hallelujah. See, Job was frustrated when he was suffering. And the Lord asked Job a question, where was you when I when I threw the celestials into the sky Jesus. and the galaxies and through the stars in millions of miles and caused the sun to take its place and, and caused Saturn and Pluto and all of the ontological and teleological that brought the existence between the invisible axis and the earth that is presumed to be rotating and, and God is telling the, the trees, hallelujah, to stand tall, the birds to fly in the sky, the fishes to swim in the sea. Where was you when I framed all of these things? You can't tell me because I made you myself and I know what you can handle before it handles yes. you. And so you got to learn that yes, you may have suffered for this, but have you got the revelation of your suffering? Because I found out that if you don't get the revelation of your suffering, you'll find your suffering in a cycle. And for many of you tonight, God has sent me as the prophet of the Lord to show you how to break your cycle. Many of you have been in cycles, but God says the cycle getting ready to break. And let me help you out tonight. A woman understands that her cycle only breaks when there is a a seed. Let me help you out tonight. And for many of you, God is about to plant some seeds in your spiritual womb because you've been seeking God, but you've been coming up empty. You've been praying, but you've been coming up empty. You've been filling out applications, but you have been coming up empty. What happens when it seems when you have obeyed 
is God and you have done everything he asked you to do, but yet you are still empty. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, get to the text because I want you to see this in the text. I'm not a preacher that preaches motivation and inspiration without divine information. I'm not here to tickle your emotions. I'm here to get a word in your spirit that you can give birth to your purpose and your promise. And so you must hear this in the text. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 1, I promise you it won't be too, too long, I'm almost already done. There are two women that's come into play. Uh, these two women are called Paniah, and the other woman is called Hannah. There, there was a man, there's a man, there's a man, there's a man uh, named uh, Elkanai. He married these two women, hallelujah, uh, but, 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 but these two women are symbolic to your suffering. Number one, I, I know that many of you uh, uh, don't like Paniah because of what she did. But mm -hmm. but but you got to know that Paniah have a story as well. Uh, when you look at Paniah, uh, Paniah's name actually means. Are you ready for this? It it means pearl. Oh, let me mm. let, let, let me slow down. Uh, Paniah's name means pearl. Uh, if you study pearls, you will find out that uh, that pearls are made out of dirt. Yes. Uh, pearls are made out of sand. And uh, how pearls are made is uh, uh, there is sand or dirt that gets in the mouth of the clam. And yes. uh, the dirt uh, gives the clam an allergy. And that allergy irritates the clam. And when the clam is irritated, it, it, it begins to agitate the dirt and mm -hmm. roll it up into a ball until eventually it becomes a pearl. What 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 what, what are you saying? I, I, I'm saying that uh, 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 the agitation it represents irritation. Agitation mm -hmm. represents frustration. It, it represents aggravation. Uh, what, what are you saying? It represents adversity. A and so even though Paniah, hallelujah, had some children that Hannah did not have, but the truth is there was something that Hannah, that Paniah had to suffer in order to get where she was because her name means pearl, which means that she came from dirt. Oh, I want to talk to some people that the truth is you shouldn't be here today because of the dirt that was on your life. But the truth Jesus. is God transformed form your dirt and made it into a pearl. The truth is, if everyone knew the dirt that was on you, if everyone knew the dirt you came out of, but God, here it is, how's the pearl made? The pearl was made by being in the mouth of, of the clam, which means that uh, when God created man, he spoke him out of the dirt. And for many of you, you have to understand that you came out of some dirty situations, but you're here because all you needed was one word that God what? spoke you and formed you from dirt to Thank a pearl. You. I can't hear Thank nobody you. here tonight Lord. because the truth is Paniah suffered for this. She's called a pearl, but you don't know her process. You don't know the aggravation. You don't know the agitation. You don't know the irritation. You don't know the frustration she had to endure in order to become a pearl. No. I want to prophesy to about 50 people in here. Uh, here's the next revelation. We don't know, here it is, when the dirt turned into a pearl because the, 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 the clam's mouth was closed. And when it's closed, that means that the dirt was in a dark place. Mm -hmm. So we could not see the transformation. We could not see the formation because it was in a dark season. And I want to tell somebody tonight that many of you don't understand why you was in your dark season. Yes, it was sir. not that God turned his back 
from you. It was that God was developing you. Yes. He yes. was developing you in your dark season. But I, 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 I got to move on. I got to move Jeez. on uh, tonight. I, I got to move on tonight. Uh, beloved, I want you to hear me. Uh, uh, the Bible says uh, that uh, 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 that that Paniah, Paniah, uh, Paniah, her name means jewel. Her name means jewel. Her name means jewel, which means uh, she's precious. And, and, and Paniah was a little jealous. Uh, Paniah was a little fearful of Hannah, hallelujah, because she went through a lot to get this man. She went through a lot to be in this relationship <laughs> and she was not going to easily give it up. I, I can't hear nobody in here tonight uh, that there are times that that, that the truth is uh, uh, you're going to have to fight for what belongs to you. I can't hear Jeez. nobody in here that you cannot bow. You cannot quit because your relationship is on rocky grounds because uh, the truth is, hallelujah, you cannot forget the value of who you are. Uh, Paniah named means a jewel. She was a jewel. She, she was precious. But, 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 but there was another woman. Uh, her, her name her name Hannah. Hannah. Uh, her name means grace. Hallelujah. Here and uh, Hannah names means grace. And and just for you a quick class uh, of theology. Uh, uh, grace uh, means the unmerited favor. Uh, let me let me break that down. Grace means to go beyond the call of duty. I want to talk to now my next group of people tonight uh, that you're frustrated because you have went beyond the call Lord. of duty. And I want to talk to the people that people have walked over you and you gave them grace and they mm -hmm. did it again and you gave them grace. They stole from you and they gave you grace. They uh, You gave them grace, mishandled you, hurt you, and you still gave them Lord. grace. Hannah was dealing with Paniah who was causing her great damage emotionally and mentally but 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 she refrained from putting her hands on Paniah because uh Hannah gave her grace uh oh I, I I'm not I'm not trying to go hood tonight but 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 the truth is some of you would be in prison right now but because your future was greater than your moment you, you had to give some people some grace it's not that i'm not a fighter but but but, but I, I got to give you grace because god gave me grace it's not like i won't cut you don't try me i would cut you but but i got to give you grace because i know Lord. that my future is greater than this moment i could step out of character but i'm gonna give you grace i i could i i i could spill the tea and call everything out uh but my name means grace and, and so i got to learn how to give grace even when i'm not receiving it myself i want to i want to find some people in here that you're not getting the return on your investment you have helped people you have sold into people you have covered people you protected people you have prayed for people but the what? same people made you suffer and i want you to get the revelation because there's revelation in your suffering here's the text Here's the text. The Bible said that every year that Elkaniah would take his wives up and he would give them a worldly yeah. portion. And the Bible said uh, that when they would go up, uh, he, he would give a portion for Paniah and uh, her sons. And But the Bible said that um, uh, 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 Hannah had not a son. But, but here it is. Uh, 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 Elkaniah was more in love with Hannah than he was with Paniah. Mm -hmm. But here is the, the friction in the text. He was more in love with Hannah, but Hannah could not produce. Mm -hmm. And the one that he was less in love with was producing. And so for many of you, you feel the weight of the obligation that's on your life. Because what you're saying is, I know that there is more I'm supposed to do. And I'm yes. frustrated because I'm, a, I'm unable to produce at wow. the level I know I can. I, listen, wow. listen, listen. I'm, I'm not prideful. I'm not prideful. I just know what God put in me. Yes. And it's frustrating me because I'm not producing at the level of my potential. I, I want to tell about 30 people tonight 
this is the last night you are going to underperform. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God, tonight. The Lord says this is the last night you are going to underperform. But here it is in the text. In the text, the Bible says that he gave Hannah a worthy portion. And what happens when you finally reach spiritual maturity and you have reached all your dreams and it's still not enough? Mm. What happens when you have got the five million dollars but there's still a void in your life? What happens Lord. when you get the dream house? and the dream marriage and the dream car. What happens when you get a million followers and you got money in the bank, but the truth is you're still empty. You got all oh. the friends, but you're still empty yeah. because what you don't understand is God gave you what you wanted to show you it's not what you needed. My Jesus. God today. Uh, the Bible says that he gave her money. He gave her a worthy portion. And he asked her a question. Is not it enough? I, 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 I want to find some people in here that say I'm not shallow. I'm believing God more than for money. I'm believing yes. God more than for a platform. I'm believing God more than followers. What I'm carrying is deeper than just money. Jesus. Hannah knew that it was something in her that was missing. I, can't, I want to find some people today. I'm sorry for all of you entrepreneurs and, uh, and you motivational preachers tonight. This, this word, this is where you get off the train. I want to find people that knows that there's something spiritual in you that has not yet been fulfilled. You're having all the sex in the world with your husband and, or your wife, but you're still uh, unfulfilled. Going My through all the vacations. But you're still unfulfilled driving all the cars you want. But no, you're still unfulfilled because wow. God has put something in you that is wow. greater than the wow. things of tangibility. And Hannah, wow. Hannah, 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 Hannah said, Hannah said, this is not enough. I want to find about 75 people that will come in tonight. This is not enough. I thank God for the money. I thank God for the notoriety. I thank God for the platform. But this is not enough. I am not suffering just to be popular. I'm suffering because what's on my life is getting ready to turn my city upside down. I can hear nobody here tonight. The devil ain't attacking me for a million dollars. He attacking me because I have the anointing to release a million souls. Rama, I can't hear nobody Rama. in here. I will be here to Rama. shift the yeah. nation that I'm in because what I'm carrying is deeper than your money in your pocket. Rama, I can't Rama. hear nobody in here tonight. Oh, oh. And uh, that uh, Hannah felt rejected. I'm going to get up out of your way. I'm going to get on out your hair. I know you ain't going to like me, but guess what? Jesus is my boss. Uh, Hannah mm -hmm. rejected because she seen Paniah with her son, and, but yet she's empty. Oh, Every year she's coming down to give honor to God, but yet she's empty. She's sleeping with her husband, doing everything. Everything right, you can't produce. Hannah, suffering, pushed her to the edge. Oh, Jesus. But here's the text. The text says, but the Lord shut down her womb. Mm. I want to ask you the question tonight. Have you been fighting the wrong enemy? Mm. my God tonight. Have you been attacking the wrong people in your life? Jesus. It wasn't Peniel's fault that she wasn't producing. God, God shut down her womb. Not the devil, not her enemies, not her haters, but God. Yes. What happens when God rejects you? Oh my God. Rejection 
It is not easy. Some of you receive rejection from relationships, mothers, fathers, rejection yes. from people you trusted and they turned on you. Nothing hurts more than the one you gave the key of trust to and they rejected mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. God was teaching Hannah how to handle her rejection. You got to understand that the, that the disciples were not the only one that rejected Jesus. Mm. The people that he healed and delivered was not the only one that rejected Jesus. Are you ready for this? Mm. The Bible says that Jesus cried out, Eli, Eli, la bontanaya, why have you forsaken me? Mm. What happens? You go to the right source, but yet he rejects you. What happens when God rejects you? And you're praying, you're seeking God, and he's seen you suffer. Wow. Where are you? 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 Rejection. Rejection. Rejection can lead you to isolation. Rejection can lead you to desperation. Wow. Relation, a rejection can lead you to even suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. Rejection, rejection. It's not an easy pill to swallow. Uh, uh, rejection will cause you to shut down. Mm. Mm -mm. Rejection will cause you not to open up again because you can't handle being let down again. My Who team. am I preaching to tonight that you're saying, God, I would do it, but I just can't be let down again. Mm. But Hannah got a resolve in herself. She said, I suffered for this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This can't be the outcome of my life. Mm. The Bible said that Hannah refused to eat. Hannah refused to party. Mm. Hannah mm -hmm. re refused to take another gift. She refused to get paid again. She refused to receive anything else again because she knew that it could not suffice the void in her life. And the Lord sent me here tonight to tell you I'm about to heal the void you don't talk about. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm about to deliver you from the secrets you refuse to talk about. Mm. Hannah, the Bible said that she went to the temple and the Bible said that she cried out unto the Lord. She cried and she prayed. She prayed and she cried because she made up in her mind, I'm not leaving until I get the results I came for. Who yes, am I um, preaching to tonight? Many of you could sit on the sideline and complain and hurt and write sad posts on Facebook uh, for people to feel sorry about you, or you can dust yourself off and don't be afraid to be rejected yeah. again and get your face before the altar and say, Lord, it's me again. Yeah. Not my mother, not my father, not my brother, but it's me again. Yes. And God, you said, you made me a promise. God, you said you was going to do it. Who am I preaching to in here tonight? The Bible declared, and I cried out unto the Lord. And the Bible said that she cried out Till she ran out of words. What happens when you move into a place where you can no longer articulate how you are feeling? You can't even she put to does. words what's going on into your mind. All you know that there's something deep down in your spirit that God's getting ready to release. And I want to prophesy to 70 people tonight.
that the Lord says tonight is about to be your divine release. Here it is. The Bible said that hand that Eli saw hand of crying and said, what is it? What's wrong with you? And Hannah could not speak because she had broken through in her travail. So I'm going to tell 50 people tonight, this won't come easy. But you're going to have to labor for it. Uh. Suffering was the momentum God was giving you so that you can have the capacity and the longevity to labor in the spirit till you give birth to Jesus. it. Jesus, Jesus. This ain't gonna happen with a handshake. This ain't gonna happen with a prophecy. This ain't gonna happen with a connection. This gonna happen when you labor in prayer. Yes, God. Hannah labored in the spirit. And Eli said to her, My God, whatever it is, give it to her. Yes. My God, tonight. God says, Whatever it is tonight, give it to you. Whatever it is that you've had to suffer for, God says tonight, I'm getting ready to give it to you. I'm getting ready to release it unto you. This is the last season. Your wound is going to be empty. Many of you should be a lot further along than you are right now. But God's about to give you the spiritual stamina and the momentum. Here it is not only to carry the vision, but you're going to give birth to the vision. Yes, and not God. only to birth the vision, but you're going to be anointed to nurture the vision. Yes, not God. only to nurture the vision, but you're going to see the vision rise up and take feet and walk. Yes, what are you God. saying, preacher? The Bible said that Hannah gave birth to a man named Samuel, and Samuel was the last judge, yes. the first prophet that anointed the first king. He was the man that shifted a raging of dispensations from judges to kings. He was the man that birthed and merged the nation of Israel. The reason why God made you suffer so that you don't undervalue what you was about to carry. Um. You're not carrying something simple. You're not carrying something mundane. You're not carrying something that is regular. You're not like everybody else. What you are getting ready to give birth to is about to change the whole trajectory yes, of God. the life of your whole family. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says that Hannah gave birth to Samuel, my God, today. And I want about a hundred people tonight to know that tonight you're getting ready to meet your Samuel. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight you're getting ready to give birth to your Samuel. Mm -hmm. You're getting ready to release Your Samuel is calling you. Your Samuel is calling you. I dare you to put your hand on your belly and say, give birth. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. birth. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. There's a greater anointing. You're getting ready to give birth to. Give there are birth, greater Jesus. resources. You're getting ready to give birth yes. to. There are greater doors. You're getting ready to give birth to. You didn't suffer to be regular. You didn't suffer to be normal. You ain't carrying something normal. Something <laughs> that's dispensational. Oh, my, 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 my. You're getting ready to change a whole dispensation. Her one son was more valuable than Paniah's five sons. It's not in the quantity. Mm -hmm. I know many of you want six streams of income. Mm -hmm. God can set your whole family for life off of one stream. Uh -uh. Y'all missed, missed it. She had five sons, but her one son shifted the whole nation of Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God says you're getting ready to get paid more and work less. Some of you have been working so hard trying to make it, trying to get it. But she didn't have to give birth to five sons. She gave birth to one. Oh, You're not catching Jesus. to the revelation in here. Some of 
you are exhausted because you're going beyond the means mm -hmm. but god says all you need is one dream one idea oh, one check mm -hmm. one door one yes come on i don't know who i'm talking to in here but go ahead and put in the comment all you need is one all you need is one all you need that 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 woman that woman that, that woman in california she played the lottery her one ticket set her for life one billion dollars one one and one you don't understand what god wants to do he, he wants to do it one time i yes. can't hear nobody in here he's not gonna frustrate you come on wait wait well you got to work day and night just mm. to keep what god bless you with one 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 god didn't send multiple sons he sent one son named jesus when god wanted to send be your creation he sent one man named adam Jeez. when god wanted to build a family he sent one man named abraham when god wanted to deliver israel out of egypt he sent one man named moses i can't hear nobody in here when god hallelujah wanted to confront the sin of israel he said one man named elijah i can't hear nobody in here when one god wanted to protect his family he said one man named joseph to cover them while they went into a famine all god need is one 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 he don't need all he need one 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 when god needed to confront and judges all of the people that was fighting against israel he raised up one woman named deborah when there was a fight and god wanted israel to get into the first promised land hallelujah uh, uh, uh jericho walls he found one prostitute one one, 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 one woman, one woman, one woman, one woman. All God need is one. When God, when God, when God, when God wanted to preserve a nation, hallelujah, when the whole world had sinned, he raised up one man named Noah. All God need is one. You're looking for help, but you are the one. You're looking for people to come in agreement with you, but you're the one. You're looking for people to tell you what you want to hear, but God says you're the one. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. You've been sleeping on yourself, but you are the one. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. When God saw that Israel was afraid because of the Canaanites, he found one man named Gideon. When God wanted to represent his nation, hallelujah, that would intercede to cry out, he found one man named yeah. Jeremiah. When God wanted a man to prepare the coming of Jesus, hallelujah, he found one man named John the Baptist. When God wanted somebody to come declare the prophecy of his son coming, he found one man named, uh, hallelujah, Isaiah, when God wanted to save the whole world, he sent one man named yes. Jesus. Why are Jesus. you sleeping on yourself? All God need is one. One, yes, one, 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 That's all they need is one, one, one. The Bible Lord. says the first day in Genesis, in the beginning, God, that's all it takes is one, one, one. He says, you do it well. Even the devils tremble and believe that there is one God. One, one, mm. one. One, one, one. All God need is one. Are you the one tonight? Are you the one tonight? Are you the one tonight? All God need is one. Are you the one tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Samuel was the one that God used to give birth to Samuel. Samuel was the one that corrected the house of Israel. Hallelujah. When Eli's sons went haywire, he raised up one named Samuel. And you don't understand that God is about to use one. One, 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 one. One, mm -hmm. one, one seed. One harvest. One check. One door. Yeah. One Scott. yes. Who am I talking to tonight? Some of you tonight need to give God another yes. One yes. That's all you need to tell him is yes, God. Yes, God, I hear you tonight. Yes, God, I hear you tonight. I hear you tonight. I'm not suffering just to suffer. I reckon that the suffering of this present time will not be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in you. You are the one. Thank you. Jesus. That's why you was rejected. That's why you was the black sheep of the family. That's why every time you tried to do wrong, you got in trouble. Oh. You couldn't be like them. You was the one. Mm -hmm. That's why some things God had to sweep under the rug because He couldn't allow your mistakes to infiltrate your future. You are oh. the one.
He's a the one. Oh, oh, we ain't gonna talk about that. Moses was the one that murdered somebody, but God Jesus. swept it on the roll because he was the one. Jesus. Everybody can do what Moses did because they ain't the one, but you are the one. Look at your life. Look at what you survived. Look at Thank what you, God. God went Thank through. You. Look Thank at what other people died from, but you're Thank living you. to tell the story. Thank you're the one. Look at when they shot up the club, the bullet went past you, but it didn't Jesus. hit you because you was the one. Look at the car wreck you survived. Look at the drugs you smoked. They lost their mind, but you woke up in your right mind. Look at you, the one. You're the one. Your mama loved all your kids. The mama loved all your brothers and sisters but you. Gave, gave, your, gave you. You was the only one your daddy gave a hard time to because you were the one. She was best friends with everybody, but you couldn't be. But you didn't have a friend in your sister. You're the one. You're the one. You're not suffering to suffer. You're the one. And until you accept it, you're going to be angry about your suffering. Until you accept it, you're going to you're going to keep blaming people for your suffering. Accept it. You're the one. Wow. <clears throat> Hannah wow. did not see that she was the one until she saw the results of what she gave birth to. Some of you are not going to know you was the one until you see the results of what you gave birth to. Mm -hmm. Mary gave birth to Jesus, but she didn't get it until Jesus rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a resurrection before they get it. You are the one. Listen, I'm out of time. I'm definitely not out of words, but I am out of time tonight. Listen to wow. tonight. Wow, wow, wow. To God be all of the glory for all Jeez. the things that he has done. Oh. Tonight, you're the one. Oh. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. Tonight, you're not going to think less than when you go to sleep tonight. I want you to go to sleep knowing I am the one. I am Accept the one. Accept it. Accept it. Mm. I am the one. That's why I'm suffering. I am the one. That's why they don't like me, because I'm the mm. one. I'm the one. Accept it. Mm. I am the one. They may not understand it, but you're the one. Mm. Mm -mm. And this hour, God is raising up those Thank you, Lord. Thank who you. are the one. Where everyone else failed in your family, Jesus. you're the one. Yes, God. Whew. When they didn't make it, you are the one that will. Re when they didn't graduate, you are the one that will. Where they fail, you will succeed because you are the one. And here is why, because Hannah name means the grace of God. Amen. You could have not made it this far except by the grace of God. God's grace is on your life. Ooh, That's why Jesus. you made it. Mm, 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 mm. People don't understand. Grace, here it is, is the number five. How many fingers on one hand? Mm. Five. What are you saying? I'm saying you're still here because God's hand is still on your life. Thank you. You survived it because God's hand is on your life. God's grace is on your life. You know there are some things that you've done wrong, but God's hand is on your life. This is not for you to have an excuse to continue, but it's a sign to let you know I owe God. Uh, oh my God. Jesus. I know I'm not, not supposed to be here, but I owe Ooh. God. I know, I know I don't deserve it, but I Ooh. owe God. Yeah. That's how you survive the suffering. Because his hand was on your life. Father, tonight I thank you for the word of the Lord. Ha! 
Shando roba akandili ando raba de debi. For the breakthrough. I feel the anointing stirring even now. That there's a miracle that's getting ready to take place. Yes, God. I don't know who you know, but there's somebody close to you that has a court date. And God says, I'm getting ready to intervene and turn the verdict. Jesus. You would know that you are the one. God's hand is on your life. Thank you. Lord. You owe God. You mm. owe God. You owe God for this. You didn't mm. suffer and got through it because of your own merit, your own strength. The hand of God is on your life. Listen, tonight, mm. I want to encourage you tonight. I want you to release a seed according to your faith. If this word was big to you, then I want you to give according to the word that you received tonight. Release what. What God places on your heart, I don't do what God don't tell me to do. I only do what God tell me to do. Tonight, I want you to be a blessing. If this word is a blessing, be a blessing to this ministry. Be a blessing to this word. You're not sowing to get blessed mm. because you already sowed a seed of suffering. Ah. The harvest is all on the way. But this is saying, God, I'm making a covenant with you. I'm sowing a seed of sacrifice. Wow. Saying, God, I honor, I honor the word that we released tonight. It's an honor seed tonight. Amen. You're not sowing for your blessing. You're not sowing for your prosperity. No, you suffer for this. Mm. You, you're already sowing for it. But let's honor God tonight with a seed tonight. You can release that to the phone number that's on the screen tonight. 754 246 zero five eight zero whether that's zero cash app paypal chime or vivo if his word was blessed to you tonight release an honor seed tonight I, I relinquish my stance i pray that what i've done god has been glorified the and the believer has been edified the sin have been notified and the devil has become petrified back into your hands Woman of God. Thank you so much, Prophet. That word was amazing. It was definitely for me. I'm going to reach back out to you after I jump off live. Listen, you guys, that message, Lord God, was, oh, oh, let me tell you, if y'all got on here late, baby, you need to go back and watch this message from the beginning. I owe God. I don't know about y'all. But I, oh God, he just gave me so much clarity. When that man just swooped Jesus, when the prophet just sat there and said, that's the reason you got caught every time you did wrong. He, he almost took me out. I almost dropped the phone and left y'all on live with him. I, I, I'm i telling you, listen, that, uh, oh God, these last 12 nights, this was night 12 out of 25 nights, social media revival. I've been bringing on new people every night, and I thank God for the New Kingdom connections. I just, oh, every night, they be, this is why it be so hard for me to go to bed. Y'all know if that message was for y'all. He said, sow your best on tonight. So he said, so, so to honor. I'm going to, oh, Jesus, I'm going to sow a seed of honor tonight. So to honor. This is via Cash App, Charm. Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. Um, you can even text the phone number 754-246-0580. That's the same number to give via Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. Same phone number, 754-246-0580. Let me tell you, you can also text that number the same number, the word invoice with your email and I and the amount you want me to send an invoice for. That way you can pay with the car. Prophetess Shaniqua Scott, I am honored. 
to be coming down there to see you soon in person, sis. I am honored to be the minister at your event. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I will be down in your area soon. Listen, you guys, night 12. Oh, Jesus. I can't. Y'all don't even understand. He, he just went there. He went there and came back. Listen, I'm telling you, 754-246-0580. Sow a seed on tonight. Sow your best. That is for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, Me Too Profit and Shaniqua. Make sure you take me to get some seafood. I love seafood. My, 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 the young ladies who travel with me to every state, they'll tell you every state I go to, I try different seafood. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I upload every live video thereafter. Follow me on Facebook at Shakira McFadden. Hit the follow button. And then hit, um, after you hit follow, hit favorites. So it let you know every time I go live. Follow me on Instagram at Shakira underscore the realtor. And also follow me, people of God, uh, on uh, TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. Listen, the man of God, I say he's, he's believing that you will hear from God what to sow. Come on, I want y'all to put a seed in the ground. I know y'all used to waiting to hear the amount to sow, but he wanted to do something different on tonight. Come on, I want to challenge you to sow. Don't get off without sowing, people of God. And that's via Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Venmo. Or you can also text the word invoice with the amount to request and your email. It's the same number for everything. 754 246 zero five eight zero prophet of shaniqua if you can put that information down in the comment section that would be great um and that is for the month of october i think it's the 14th to be exact uh lakeisha trinette i gotta get y'all them dates because i'm not taking everybody with me down there just a few Listen, you guys, 754-246-0580. Sow your best seed. The word was amazing. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Set your alarm clock for 11 p.m. Eastern time every night. It, we're going to go even higher tomorrow night. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.